Today we're going to talk about the limits of polynomial functions. So the first thing uh, we're going to talk about is the fact that polynomial, polynomial functions are everywhere continuous. This means that there are no discontinuities. So no holes, no jumps, no asymptotes. So this is helpful when we're taking limits of polynomial functions. So let's say, for example, we had this parabola, and we wanted to find the limit as x approaches 3. Now we learned how to do this using the graph previously, and we can find that limit by following along and seeing what y value our function is getting closer to. Let's say for this case that it's 2, so that limit would be equal to 2. But notice with this function that f of 3 is also equal to 2. So with polynomials, our function values and our limits are going to be equal to each other. And this helps us evaluate limits algebraically. So let's say, for example, I was asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. This is a polynomial function, so I can evaluate this by just finding f of 2. So we get 8 minus, let's see, that's 4 times 3. So that limit must be negative 3, and I can now do that without the use of a graph. And here is our summary. So we learned that polynomial functions are everywhere continuous, which means that we can evaluate our limits of polynomial functions just by using substitution. So symbolically, the limit as x approaches c will be equal to f of c with polynomial functions.